So the Fast X movie was released a few weeks ago and I've still yet to go and see it. But they always have some amazing cars and some adrenaline fueled car chases and big explosions in them. And apparently Fast X does not disappoint. So I've collected eight of the cars from the movie brought them into a set of Corsa so I can drive them for myself and have some fun. And as 8 is not quite 10, I've added two old favourites from the Fast and Furious franchise to come along for the ride. As always, links to all the cars and skins and tracks and showrooms for that matter will be down in the description below. Hope you enjoy it. In the movie, a 2003 Lamborghini Gallardo, a gold-plated Lamborghini Gallardo, is used in the car chase sequences around Rome. This stock supercar shipped with a 5-litre naturally aspirated V10 engine that produced 493 brake horsepower along with 510 newton metres of torque. However, the Gallardo was not Lamborghini's most revered supercar but nevertheless it ended up being the best selling Lamborghini since 1963. Let's take a look. When it comes to Porsches, the GT3 RS is the closest thing you're going to get to a road legal race car, which is why I and many Porsche fans just love them so much. The car featured in the movie is a green 911 GT3 RS from the 997 generation, which is the last generation of naturally aspirated engines. Yes, there's a turbo model in every generation, but the 997 generation was the last of the naturally aspirated. The next model, the 991, became the first turbo generation engines. With a four litre twin turbo six cylinder engine that produces 443 brake and 430 newton meters of torque. This is also a manual model, which is perfect in my opinion. Uh, I can hear the purists screaming PDK, PDK, but you can't heel and toe in a PDK. There you go, I've said it. Anyway, let's take a look. The Japanese auto industry has long held a significant presence within the Fast and Furious franchise and the latest instalment is no exception. Fast X continues the tradition by introducing a remarkable addition to the lineup, the iconic Datsun 240Z. Renowned as one of the greatest Japanese sports cars ever created, the Datsun steals the spotlight in this movie. Equipped with a stylish wide body kit, it exudes coolness further enhanced by a turbocharger that provides an exhilarating boost of speed. The stock Datsun originally had a 2.4 litre inline six cylinder engine which generated around 150 brake horsepower. The one shown in the movie apparently had an RB26 engine under its hood. Anyway, let's take a look. The 2000 GT has a naturally aspirated inline four engine with a manual five speed transmission, producing 121 brake horsepower and 186 newton meters of torque. Now, I couldn't find this exact model, the 2000 GT, anywhere for a set of course. If anyone has a, has a model or knows where I can get it, please uh, let me know down in the comments below. So instead, I used the Alfa Romeo GTA V, 
But what it lacked was the gorgeous orange livery it proudly shows in the movie. And luckily I found a fellow YouTuber had struggled with the exact same issue that I did and he decided to create it. So a big thanks to them. Links are down in the description below. Anyway, let's take a look. The 1970 Dodge Charger RT is Dom's favoured vehicle appearing in what seems to be nearly every Fast and Furious film. In the movie it was kept inside the garage of the Toretto house and was built by Dom in his youth along with his father. The car's famed for holding a record quarter mile time at just 9 seconds flat set by Dom's father at the famous Los Angeles County Raceway. Despite enduring numerous accidents, Dominic tenaciously restores and resurrects this cherished charger time and time again. Let's take a look. This is the 2023 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body. That's a huge name. But what's also huge is the performance that's packed under the hood. This beast came with a supercharged 6.2 litre V8 engine that produced 697 horsepower and 880 newton metres of torque. Let's take a look. Over the past few decades, Jason Statham has established himself as one of the foremost British action film stars, earning him a pivotal role within the franchise since his debut in Fast and Furious 6. In Fast X, he finds himself behind the wheel of the McLaren Senna, which is undoubtedly one of the most illustrious McLaren models of the recent years. It's distinguished not only by its sheer performance, but also its exclusivity with only 500 units ever produced. Let's take a look. trailer, Dom arranges a gathering with a mix of guests who arrive in what can only be explained as a spectacular array of amazingly cool cars, including some exceptionally rare supercars. But standing head and shoulders above the rest is the extraordinary Pagani Huayra Tricolore. Crafted as one of the last special editions, it pays homage to the esteemed Italian Air Force. With only three ever manufactured, it makes it the most elusive Italian supercar, which justifies its astonishing price tag of six and a half million dollars. Let's take a look. 